Morning cadets, uh, beginning this exponential and logarithmic functions section. So we're going to focus on exponential functions first. There's a famous little riddle, all right? So we got uh, a lily pad pond. And in this lily pad pond, there's certain species of lily pad. And um, day zero, there's one lily pad at the very beginning. And every night, each lily pad clones itself. So the next day you have two lily pads. And that next night, each of them makes a close. So you wind up with four. So you start with one, then you got two, then you got four, and then each one of those four makes a clone. So you wind up with then you got then you got eight. And so on and so forth. And the riddle is on day fifty. The pond is completely full of lily pads for the first time. On what day was the lily pad pond half full? Okay, so this leads us right into exponential equation. You got that question correct? Okay, this lily pad, they double every night. On the 50th day, the pond is completely full. On what day is the lily pad, was the lily pad pond half full? All right. So let's look at these real quick. Exponential functions. So it looks like this. F of X, remember we were doing F of X equals X squared and messing around with that quadratic function. Now we've got a base that's a number raised to the X power. What happens? Okay, so we're going to do this over and over and... Uh, you get a good feeling of how this happens. Okay, so our favorite number for x first, 0, right? 2 to the 0 power, 2 raised to the 0 power is, any number raised to the 0 power is 1. Okay, so 0, comma 1 is our first point. All right, put, it, put 1 in for x. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 raised to the first power is 1, comma 2. All right, put in a 2. 2 squared, 4. 2 comma 4. Okay, thinking about our lily pads, right? 1, 2, 4. On the next day, the third day, 2 to the third power, 8. 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. You see how it's going. You could keep going. Now we need to do a negative one or two. Uh, put a negative one in for x. What happens when you put a negative exponent? What does a negative exponent do? Do you remember that? Two to the negative one. Put it in your calculator. If you don't remember, you're going to get one half. It flips the base. So negative one comma one half. I'll put a negative two. It's going to flip it, square it. One fourth, negative two comma one fourth. So this direction, you get really, you get almost to zero. And here is the shape of this graph. Okay, this is the graph of f of x equals two to the x power. Okay. Let's do a fraction smaller than one and see what happens real quick. Uh, x and y. Hmm, I might run into problems over here getting everything together, but uh, put in a zero for x. Once again, I get one, zero comma one. It has that point in common. One, one half to the one power, one half, right? One comma one half. If I put it, if I square it, a two in for x, uh, one half squared, one fourth. Oh, so we're getting closer and closer to the x axis here, closer and closer to zero for my y value, the bigger x gets. So if I go negative of x, remember, negative exponent flips it. So negative one, I'm going to get two. Negative one, comma, two. Negative two, comma, four. I flip that over and square it. Eight. Okay. So this is a special thing to pay attention to. F of X equals one half. If the fraction is less than one, it'll look like this. If, if, uh, and it's positive, positive fraction. We're not going with negative base yet. 
And if it's greater than one, it looks a lot like this. So we'll just keep practicing this. What if it is one? Well, I leave that up for you guys. F of x equals one to the x. Change your x, see what happens. Not too exciting. Okay, this is the introduction, guys. Uh, think about the lily pads, and we'll talk about that at the end of the class.